So if everyone can come to a comfortable seated position on their mats. Come to cross the leg, or if that's too much, you can straighten the legs out. You want to make sure you're comfortable. And if anyone has a block or a pillow or something and you get sore knees, sometimes it's good to sit on the block as what it does is, oh, I got my leg under, it raises the hips. So what that does is it takes pressure off your knees. So if anyone's got a pillow or anything, it just helps raise the hips and take the pressure off. Or I get a sore left knee sometimes, so sometimes this is better for me. So when you're ready, just bring the hands to the knees or wherever feels comfortable to you and start to close down the eyes. Making sure that you're sitting tall, spine and the neck are nice and long. Pulling the shoulders back and away from the ears. And really start to relax into your practice. Connecting with the breath. Noticing any tension that you might have in the muscles and the body. And just try and relax those down. Can you slow down the breath? Can you deepen the breath? Today's practice is focused around our expression. And this comes from our throat chakra. So our throat chakra is centered around our expression, our sound, authenticity. So I'm just going to read you just a short quote from philosopher Walt Emerson. The only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. The only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. So this is linked into being your authentic self, speaking your truth in words, and feeling that you are able to express your way and what feels good to you. And this is our sound. Start to notice the sound of your breath. Notice the sounds that are closest to you. Put your focus on those sounds. And then send your awareness further away. So what sounds can you hear further away from you? May that be outside of the house. Listen to do everything that you can. And if the mind wanders, bring your concentration back to those noises, identifying what those noises did. Connect with the breath and taking in the noises around you. As you relax into your meditation, meditation process today. And perhaps ask, your, ask yourself this question Do I express myself? Do I fully express my truth? Am I fully authentic?
And when you're ready, I invite you to bring some awareness back. I'm going to do some breathing exercises before we go into our practice today. Just to fully switch off into anything that's happened this week, any stresses that you may have had. So when you're ready, just gently open the eyes. And we're going to do a breathing exercise, which is called Noti Shadana. And what that is, is it's alternate nostril breathing. And by doing that, we balance out the left and the right side of the brain. So that helps us feel calm, be stressed, and just fully balancing and grounding the body. So what we do is, with our left hand, we make the okay sign. And we place this down on our knee with our fingers energetically pointing towards the earth. And with our right hand, we take our peace fingers and we bring them down to the palm. So you're left with three fingers, sorry, two fingers up and your thumb. And what you do is you switch between your thumb and your ring finger. So your thumb closes your right and your ring finger closes the left. So I'll just show you the first round so then you can follow me. So you take a deep inhale. You close the right nostril with your thumb and you exhale through the left. Then we take a deep inhale through the left keeping the right flow. We swap and close the left and then we exhale through the right. So joining in, the left is closed. We inhale through the right nostril. Close the right nostril, opening the left and exhale through the left. Inhale through the left nostril. Close the left, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. And exhale through the left. Take two more rounds together. Inhale through the left nostril. Close the left, open the right, exhale through the right nostril. Inhaling through the right nostril and ending as we exhale on the left nostril. We're bringing the hands away, and just coming back to the natural rhythm of your breath. Hopefully you can feel a bit calmer, a bit grounded, a bit more grounded now. And we're going to start to go into our practice. So I'm just going to move my block here. So as I say, today's session is focused around opening the throat. So we're going to have um, some back bends. If that's too much for you, just take my modification. Or if any point in the practice you're just feeling tired, that maybe today you just don't want to do anything too, too severe, just go into child's pose, or you can come to have a really long shavasana. <laughs> that's absolutely fine. You just listen into your body and do whatever feels good to you. So when you're ready, just bring the hands back to the knee. And we're gonna take the chin down to the floor. Just a real simple movement here. You can feel a nice stretch in the back. And on your next inhale, coming back to center. We're going to bring our hands behind us. Now the hands can either just rest on the floor or if you want to have more of a stretch, you can bring the hands together to clasp as you pull the chest open and send the gaze towards the sky. So really opening the throat, opening the chest and just breathe in, breathe into your stretch. Take a deep inhale here and exhale release. Gently coming down. And we're going to take our left hand over to our right knee. Our right hand comes behind us as we gently twist and send our gaze over the right shoulder. Feeling that stretch through the lower part of the body. Final twist.
take a deep inhale here and exhale on twist as the right hand comes over to the left knee, left hand behind us as we go to the other side now, gazing over the left shoulder. Try not to pull too hard, you don't want to tense up the body, it's just a gentle twist as we warm up the body. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, untwist, come through. Inhale, arms go all the way up to the sky. And as you exhale, drop the right hand down to the mat. Left hand comes over to the right ear as we pull over to the left side of the body. Feel that nice pull through the right side of the neck. Take a deep inhale and exhale, release, come back to the center. Inhale, arms go up into the sky. And as you exhale, the left hand comes down this time. Right hand over to the left ear and pull over to the right side. Feeling the stretch through the left part of the neck now. Try and keep that, that spine nice and long. Take a deep inhale and exhale, release as you come back to center. Inhale, arms come up to the sky once more. And this time we're going to hinge from the hip as we fold forward, bringing the hands down to the floor as far as it feels comfortable. This may just be here, that's fine. We'll come down as far as you can. And then the gaze towards the floor and spreading the fingertips down into the earth. Really opening that sh the shoulder blade. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, gently walk the hands to the body. And then we're going to take the arms behind us, the fingertips face towards the body. And you can either just have a simple, just a simple bend here. I'll come to the side so you can see me. You can just have just a simple arch looking up. Or if you want to follow me, lift the hips and come up onto the knees and send the gaze back. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, gently release, taking your time, there's no rush. And we're going to swap over to the opposite side now. So for example, my right foot is on my left, so I'm going to kick the legs open, swap over, and bring my left foot onto my right. So just so that you can even out the hips here, to keep everything balanced. So take a deep inhale, arms come up to the sky. And exhale, hinge as you fold forward once more. For those of you that may not be in a cross-legged position and on their knees, you can still do this. You can still fold forward. That's fine. Make sure the gaze is towards the earth so that you keep the neck long. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, walk in the hands back, and once again, we take them behind us, fingertips facing towards the body, either take a small back bend here, or lift the hips and come up onto the knee as you stretch back. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, gently come down, hips first, followed by the neck. 
And we're going to send our energy forward now, coming onto our hands and knees and our tabletop. So one crossing the legs from underneath. If anyone finds that they have um, sore knees, you might want to grab a cushion off your sofa and just pop it underneath your knees here, just as some added support. So in our tabletop, make sure the hands are stacked underneath the shoulders, the feet are flat on the ground, knees stacked underneath the hips and hip width apart. We're going to go straight into our cat cow this morning. So as we inhale, we lift the sit bones and we look up to the sky, opening the chest and the throat. And as you exhale, round the spine as you push into the floor, bring the navel into the back of the spine. Inhale as you lift and gaze up to the sky. And exhale as you round, drawing the navel in. Inhale, chest open. As you land in your cow pose, we're just going to stay here for a couple of breaths. Really pushing into the ground, feeling that nice bend in the lower back. Breathing in and breathing out. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale round, as we come into our angry cat, really pushing into the ground as we stay in our cat pose for a couple of breaths. Send your gaze in between the legs. Really feeling that rounding in the spine. Take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, gently come back to the tabletop pose. We're going to go into thread the needle now. So I'll just face forward for those of you that aren't sure what this is, you can see what we do. So we're going to start on the right side. We inhale, we lift the right arm all the way up to the sky. And as you exhale, take your right hand as it goes threading underneath the left arm. Coming down to the floor as you bring your right ear down to the mat. Really connecting with the floor here. If you want more of a stretch, you can pull the left arm in front of you, pulling it along the floor. And feel that nice deep stretch through the left shoulder as well. And for those of you with the hand forward, if you pull, gently pull it back towards your face. And on your next inhale, we're going to sweep the arm all the way back up to the sky. Exhale, hand comes down to the mat. Moving over to the left side now. Inhale, sweep the left arm all the way up to the sky. And as you exhale, bring the right hand, thread it through the loop under your right arm as the left ear comes down to the mat. If you followed me before, just push your hand in front of you, the right hand, as you feel that stretch through both the shoulders now. And you almost get a bit of a stretch under your right armpit too. And for those of you that followed me, just pull your right hand back towards the body now. And on your next inhale, push up through the right hand and sweep the left arm all the way up to the sky. Exhale, bring the left hand back down to the mat. We're going to walk the hands just a couple of inches forward in front of us now. And leaving the hips in the sky, we're all going to take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, gently come down, hips stay in the sky as you bring the chest down. As you inhale, you snake up into your baby cobra. And just stay here for a couple of breaths. The hands are stacked underneath the shoulders. And if you want more, 
push up through the hands as you lift the chest to the sky, sending the gaze up towards the ceiling as you deepen your stretch here. Now, for those of you that really want more, you can lift the legs as you come into your full upward dog. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, slowly release as you come down and lower the chest towards the ceiling. All together, we take a deep inhale here, and as we exhale, untuck the toes as you push up into your downward dog. So, as always in our downward dog, we take the first downward dog just to really feel into our pose making sure that our feet are hip width apart, that our heels are energetically pushing down towards the floor. Fingertips are spread as we push into the cushions in the hands. If you want to bend the knees here, that's fine. And then when you're ready, lifting the hips to the sky, chest comes down towards the floor as you send the gaze between the legs. And really open the shoulder blades here. You have a really strong downward dog position. And we can start to walk the feet out one by one, really taking your time here so you can really feel that stretch through the calf muscle on each side. Really taking the time. You can start to move the hips into the movement if that feels good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bringing each knee across the body, moving the hip. And you can start to bring in some gentle movement to the head as well. So shaking the head left and right to say no, really slowly. And then up and down to say yes. <clears throat> And then when everyone's ready, coming back to our stationary downward dog, I invite everyone to take a cleansing breath here. So a cleansing breath is where you really exaggerate the, the sigh as you exhale. So today it's about sound, so don't be embarrassed. I can't hear you, no one else can. And I'll start. So we take a deep inhale and exhale. It's a really good way to get rid of any toxins. So all together, we take a deep inhale and exhale, sigh, release. Good. And when you're ready, just gently start to slowly walk to the top of your mat, taking your time here. There's no rush at all. Coming to the top of your mat in your forward fold. You can bend into the knees here if that feels good, if you've got tight hamstrings. And just let the hands hang heavy now. The crown hangs heavy as you surrender all of your energy towards the earth. And just take a gentle sway. You may wish to hold on to opposite elbow. And just let go as you hang heavy in your rag doll. <clears throat> and then when you're ready, releasing the arm, we're all going to rise up, but as slowly as you can. Really take your time and feel into each movement, vertebrae by vertebrae, as you slowly come all the way up to your standing pose, the asana or mountain. Palms face forward, spreading the fingertips and really open the chest here. Helping the shoulder blades kiss as you draw them back. Just repositioning your feet, making sure that they're hip width apart. And for those of you that want a bit more of a stretch here, you can bring the hands behind the back as they clasp and just draw the shoulder blades further back as you pull the arms away and send your gaze to the sky. So such a simple standing pose, but really has the benefit of stretching the chest here. 
Really stretching through the shoulders and the arms. Take a deep inhale together. And exhale gently on clasp the hands and release. You can shake the arms off here if that feels good. As we prepare to go into our, oh, no, I've lost myself. We're not going into sun salutation just yet. I added in something different today. So it's, it's only a small balance. It's nothing major. So what we do is we're going to start on the left side of the body. So sending that balance into the left foot. We're going to lift the right knee. And all we're going to do is take the left hand to the right knee and gently pull it over to the left side as the right arm opens. For those of you that don't wish to have any balance today, you can just cross the leg and bring the right foot down to the floor. We're still opening the chest and the throat here. Palm faces towards the front as you really feel that nice extension in the right arm. Send the gaze over to the right side. And just hold on to your balance here. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, gently release the right leg down. Moving over to the left side now. Make sure that you've got nice, steady balance in the right foot so you really feel anchored down. <clears throat> Bring the left knee up now. Take the right hand as you pull over to the right side. Left arm opens, palm facing forward and we gaze over to the left. Again, for those of you that are struggling here and don't wish to balance, just cross the left foot over the right as you have a bit of a twist here still. Otherwise, keep the knee across the body. Feeling that nice twist in the mid midline of the body whilst we open the chest. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, gently release. Now we'll go into our sun salutation. So come into the top of your mat if you're not already there. We take a deep inhale, and the arms stretch all the way up to the sky. And as you exhale, hands come in prayer as we bow forward into our forward fold. Inhale, half lift, hands come to shins or fingertips to mat. And as you exhale, hands come down as you step back into your plank pose. In the bottom of your exhale, bring the knees down, followed by the chest. Inhale as you come to your baby cobra. Exhale, untuck the toes as you push back into your downward dog. And just pedal out the feet once more here. Remember to breathe. Sounds so simple, but sometimes we can hold on to our breath and our movement. And then when you're ready, inhaling, come onto the tiptoes. Exhale, bend the knees, send the gaze forward and step or jump to the top of your mat as you land in your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold once more. Inhale, rise to standing. Hands come up into the sky. Hands meet in prayer. Exhale, hands come down to heart center as we move. Inhale, arms come to the sky, hands meet in prayer. And as you exhale, bow as you fold forward into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bring the hands down, step or jump back to your plank. And at the bottom of your exhale, knees, chest, chin, or you can come down through Shakaranga, halfway in plank, up to upward dog in your inhale. And exhale, downward dog. On your next inhale, we're going to bring the right leg all the way across the sky. And on your exhale, bend the right knee into the chest as you plant the right foot in between the hands. Now, really push back into your left heel here. You want to be on the balls of your left foot so you can really have that stability in your left leg. For anyone that is feeling tired or has any problems with their legs or their knees, you can drop the back knee on top of the lower under there. 
Otherwise, if you want to follow me, we inhale, we rise up to our high lunge. Really spread the fingertips as the palms face inward. Hips are square. Make sure that the knees stacked over the ankle and engage that core, those tummy muscles, just to keep that nice stability and strength. All together, we're going to take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, lower the hands as they come behind your back to go into your clasp once more. Pulling back the chest, but we're going to draw the chest towards the right knee as we come forward and lift the arms behind us. Again, if this is too much, you can lower the back knee. I might have to today because it's the third time I've taught this class so my legs are a bit sore. All together, take a deep inhale as we rise and come back up to standing, release. Inhale, arms come up to the sky now. Again, if this is too much, drop the back knee. Exhale, hands come in prayer as the prayer comes down to heart center. And we send the left elbow over the right knee as we twist. So our prayer twist here. Really push into the hands, chest is open as we twist. You might feel a bit of a tingly sensation through the leg, that's normal. <laughs> Hold on, take two more breaths. Deep inhale and exhale, untwist as you lift up and straighten the right leg. And we're going to step the left foot a bit further forward now. So your feet should be following in the same direction, so up towards the mat. And you want to have approximately a foot distance between the feet. And this is our pyramid pose. So you can either keep your hands just gently behind the back in a clasp, or if you want to follow me, and I'll just show you my back here so you can see, you take your prayer behind your back. So your hands come behind your back in a backward prayer. And then in your pyramid, we all take a deep inhale, lift in the chest, and then as we exhale, we hinge forward, keeping a flat back as we gaze towards our feet. You can stay here with me, or if you want to deepen your stretch, you can lower down. But I feel that it is best to keep your back nice and flat. You're not pushing yourself up too much. If this is too much on people's legs, you can have a gentle bend in the right knee, but you'll feel more of the stretch if you keep the legs straight. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, gently rise up as you release the arm. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring our left hand, so almost like we're twisting out to the side, so the arms are straight. We're twisting, oh, sorry, we're tw our left arm's twisting out to the right side of the body. So we're going to do a revolve triangle. So the opposite to our normal triangle that we do, it feels a bit awkward, but it's okay. And you take your left hand towards the right shin. So you're twisting in your opposite direction. And then you bend the right arm behind your back. So you're really opening the chest here. Like I say, it's a bit of an awkward pose, but it is really good for stretching pretty much everywhere in the body. Holding on. Take two more breaths together. Take a deep inhale and exhale, gently release. We're all going to bend the right knee as the hands come down and we step back into our plank. Exhale, halfway through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. You can walk out the feet once more if you like here, really bending in the knees as we prepare to move over to the left side of the body. 
I'll just change direction myself so you can see me on the other side. So as we inhale, we take the left foot all the way to the sky. And as we exhale, we bend the left knee into the chest as we plant the left foot in between the hands. And as we did before, you really want to kick back through your right heel here. You want to have that stability in the legs, really engage in those thigh muscles. For those of you with any kind of stiffness in the leg, struggle with your balance or have sore knee, drop the right knee and come down or pop the lower over there. Otherwise, those with me, we take a deep inhale and we rise up to our high crescent lunge. Palms face together, fingers spread, and really kick back through that back heel. So we want to use all the leg muscles here to really keep that, excuse me, stability. You can send the gaze towards the sky. Take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, hands lower as they come behind you and you join and clasp. And we open the chest, drawing the chest towards the left knee. Really pulling those arms behind us. Remember to drop the knee if this is too much. Listen to the body, don't overdo it. Take a deep inhale and exhale, gently come up and release as you straighten the left leg. And again, we want to shorten the stance a bit more. So there's only about a foot width different, um, distance between your feet. Both feet are directing upwards towards the mat. I look like I'm guiding a plane here. <laughs> and then we can either bring our hands just gently clasping behind, or if you want to follow me, you can take a prayer behind the back here. Really pulling the elbows back so you open the chest. We take a deep inhale together and exhale, hinge forward from the hips, keeping a flat back and gaze towards our feet. As I said before, you can bend into the left knee if that feels better. Otherwise, keeping it straight and really feeling that nice stretch through the left leg. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, gently rise as you just loosen the arms now. And as we did before, we're going to open the arms as we come over to the left side of the body. So that twist with the arms open, and then we send the right arm down to the left leg, and open, and then bring the left hand behind the back. So you don't want to be hinging too far forward. If you are, you can just come slightly more up to the leg. The aim here is to keep the chest open to the left side of the body. Breathe into this stretch. We take three more breaths here. We're nearly there on the leg sequences. You'll be pleased to know. <laughs> Take a deep inhale and exhale, gently release. As we bend into the left knee, hands come down and we step back into our plank. At the bottom of your exhale, come down knees, chest, chin, or halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. And just pedal out the feet once more here. And then when you're ready, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the right knee down, coming forward, and then follow by the left knee crossing so you can push back into your seated position. And then what we're going to do is we're going to straddle out the legs here. So just bringing the legs out as wide as feels comfortable. You might need a little bend in the knees, that's okay. 
and come onto the bony part of the bum, so your sit bones. And we're, if you can, if this is a, enough, you can stay here, that's fine. Otherwise, come with me as we grab onto the big toes. And send the gaze towards the floor. There may be some of you that are way more flexible than me and you can bring your chest down to the floor. I'm not there just yet. <laughs> but just make sure you keep the, the neck nice and long. Don't look up, you want to look down. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, bring the right foot into the left leg. So the right sole of the foot. So the sole of the right foot comes into the left thigh. So almost like you're in a half butterfly here. And then we inhale together, the arms come up to the sky. And as you exhale, just come over to the left side of the body. So we want to open the chest here. So really bringing the right arm to the sky, opening the chest. So it doesn't matter if you can get all the way down, the intention here is to open your chest and your throat. So if you find that you're coming down to the floor, just come more up the leg and open the chest wide. It is not a competition to see who can get further down. It's about opening your chest. And breathe in to your stretch here. Take a deep inhale together. And as you exhale, come up, release. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the left knee and bend it as you draw your left foot in front of your right leg. And just shuffle your left foot further underneath your glutes. So you're almost in a bit of a twist here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the right arm and we're going to hug the left knee as we send our left hand behind. And it's just a real gentle stretch here. For those of you that want more of a stretch, a deeper stretch, you can take the elbow and push it against the right of the left knee. And really concentrate on your breath here. It's quite a constricting move on the diaphragm. So it can feel a bit awkward when you're trying to do a deep inhale. But just make sure you continue to breathe as slow as you can. Take a deep inhale together. And as you exhale, untwist as we float our arms over to the right side. And in one breath, we almost do just a mini push up. So we come down and then we come back up. And then just something slightly different today. What we're going to do is we're going to take our right hand onto our left foot. And you can either just leave it here bent or you can straighten it out over the right side of the body as you sweep your left arm over to the left side. So similar to when we were standing at the beginning of the class, we're just doing a seated version with the leg straight. If this is too much, as I say, just bend the leg. Breathe in to your deep leg stretch here. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, gently release as you bring the right leg to extend out to the right side as we come over to do the right side of the body. So the sole of the left foot comes into the right thigh this time. We inhale, float our arms all the way to the sky. And as you exhale, you come down to the right side this time. You can hold on to the outer edge of the foot if that feels good as you open the chest. So really pull that left arm back as you send your gaze towards the sky. And just take a couple of breaths together here.
take a deep inhale and exhale, gently release as you come back up. Taking the right leg this time, just use the hands to gently pull the leg over and just shuffle the left foot further underneath the right glute. We take our left arm over the right knee this time as the right hand comes behind the back and we twist. Again, for those of you that want more of a stretch, you can take the elbow and you can push the left, the right knee over to the left side. Otherwise, just hug onto the knee and twist. If you find that your hand, your back, now your right hand's quite far away from the body, draw it towards you. So you get more of a lever to push yourself up and you'll feel the stretch more. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, we all twist as we come to the left hand side, hands down, one breath, push up. And then we take the left hand to the right foot this time. And you can either stay here or you stretch the right leg over the left side of the body and you open the chest over to the right, right side. So the hand comes nice and open, palm faces towards you, but in front of you, I should say. And send the gaze over to the right side. I've really got something in my chest today. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'm not coily. <laughs> we said before, if this is too much, just bend into the right knee. Sit tall, spine long. Take a deep inhale here and exhale, gently release down. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring the soles of the feet together now as we come into our butterfly, just so that we can even out the hips, balancing. And we're just, we're not going to come forward today. We're just going to sit nice and tall. So holding on to the toes, you can just bring down the knees as far to the earth as you can and keep the spine nice and long. So lifting the chest proud. You can close down the eyes here if that feels good. Take a deep inhale and exhale, gently release. And we're just going to swing the leg behind us here as we come onto our knee. If this is uncomfortable for you, use that cushion, pop it up on, underneath the knee so you've got some added support here. And we're going to come up onto the knees and untuck the toes. And I'll come to the side so you can see what I'm going to be doing here. So we're going to prepare for our camel, but we're going to do it a bit differently today. So for those of you that might have um, back problems, I wouldn't deepen the stretch too much. You can just Stay with us by holding on to the lower back and just open your chest. And you can stay here throughout this small sequence. For those of you who really want to have a back stretch, you take our left hand to the lower back and take your time and take your right hand behind you as you grab onto the right ankle. So opening up to the right side and then stretch your left hand all the way up to the sky. So it's just a real simple move here. But it's just a nice stretch in the front of the body. You can feel it in kind of pulling through the stomach, the chest, and also in the back. Take a deep inhale together and exhale. Bring the hand back to the, the lower back as you gently kind of twist over to your right side to come back up to standing. So you're just taking that pressure off your back because if you jump straight up, you're just tensing your back. 
We're going to swap over to the other side now. So the right hand comes to the lower back. Left hand comes behind you as you reach onto your left ankle and twist over to the left side. And then when you're ready, the right arm comes all the way up to the sky. And I find if you spread your fingertips, you can really feel it better in your arm. You can feel that better stretch and kind of energetic force pointing you towards the sky. Take a deep inhale together. And as you exhale, the right hand comes to the lower back as you twist over to the left side and come back up. And this is when we go into our full camel pose now. So as I say, I would only come into camel pose if you're confident with it. And what you really need to be careful with is your neck. Your neck is so fragile and gentle. So please, please, please take your time and follow what I say in terms of coming up one hand at a time. So bring the hands to the lower back. And then one at a time, we take our right hand first, followed by the neck, and then the left hand follows to grab the left hand. Really opening the chest here. And this is our peak pose today. The pose that we've been aiming for in our warm up. Warm up. Take one more breath. And then this is the part that I was talking about before. So lift off the left ankle first and bring the left hand to the lower back. Come over to the right side as you take the right hand away and you come to sit on your heel. And we're all going to widen the knees here, bring the big toes together as we come forward in a child's pose, just as a how to stretch the back here. Bringing the forehead down to the mat, spreading the fingertips as we surrender down to the feet. We're going to stay here for about seven breaths, just so we can relax the body before we continue into the, the slower paced part of our practice. And you connect with the breath again and slow it down if you find that it's been speeding up. Notice the heart rate start to slow down. And just surrender down into the floor. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Gently take your time as you walk your hands back to meet the leg. And again, we're going to just bring the knees in front of us as we swing the legs forward as we come to our seated pose. So our legs are straight in front of you. You can have a gentle bend in the knees here. The feet are flexed. And we're just going to bring our hands to the floor to start. So some of you might not be able to reach the floor. I said this before, that's fine. We all have different body types. I'm extremely short. For any of you that have met, met me, I'm four foot 11. I'm not far off the size of a dwarf. So I can like touch the floor and have a bend in my arms. I've got plenty of room. Some people might not be able to touch, but if you can, just really push into the earth and open the chest. If you can't, just bring the hands to the thighs and open the chest anyway. This is just a, such a simple pose again. And sometimes it's the simplest poses that can give you the nicest stretch. And if you flex your feet towards you, you can really feel it in, in the legs. And as you push away from the earth, this is an all-round body stretch. And when you're ready, releasing if your hands are on the floor, we take a deep inhale together as the arms come up to the sky. 
and we exhale, we hinge forward into a forward fold. Now, if you want to bend the knees here, that's fine. Some of you may be able to grab onto the feet. Others may just be on their shins or their thighs. Just do what feels right to you. And keep the back nice and flat here, gazing down. If you want to hold on to the ankles, you can almost draw the elbows towards the legs as well and come further down. You're almost using your arm muscles to help pull you down to the floor. Take a deep inhale and exhale, gently release. Take the hands behind us with the fingertips facing towards the body. And we push up as we come into almost like a, a reverse plank. And we'll just stay here for a couple of breaths. Keeping the spine nice and long. If this is too much, you can just lower the hips and just look up towards the ceiling. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, gently lower down to the floor. And if you're in the middle of your mat here, just come to the top of your mat, just shuffle forward a bit further forward. And again, come onto that bony part of the bum, your sit bone. Might want to wiggle from side to side to get on there. And take the hands underneath the knee. And we're going to go into our boat pose here. So for those of you that maybe have lower back problems, keep a hold of the knee. And if you start feeling a strain, just bring the feet straight back down. Otherwise, we come up as we raise the feet to the sky. And for those of you that want a bit more, you can straighten the leg. And then we're going to take our arms wide, so really wide to the side of the body, arms facing in. Use that core strength from the abdomen. Keep your stability as we stay here for three breaths. Final inhale and exhale. Release as you hold onto the back of the knees and you drop the feet down to the floor. And then facing the palms towards the sky as so they reach the arms forward. We're all going to take our time together as we slowly come down to the mat now. So coming down one vertebrae at a time. If this is too much, just use the forearms to help you come down. Slowly, slowly, use the core muscles. And when you get down to the mat, just hug the knees into the chest. And sway from side to side as you really feel that nice massage into the spine here. Slowing down the breath once more. Find when I engage my core muscles, my breath can speed up a little bit. You just take the time here just to slow down again. And for those of you that are quite comfortable here, just taking a break, you can stay here. Otherwise, for those of you that want to follow me, I'm going to go into a shoulder stand. So what we're going to do is we're going to start rocking forward and back. And on your third rock, this is your second. On your third, come all the way up into your shoulder stand. The legs come up to the sky. Hands are on the lower back, gaze up towards the feet. And just stay here for a couple of breaths. Really straightening those legs and engaging the thigh muscles. And for those of you that wish to follow me, we're going to go into something called a plow. So you start to take the toes behind you, lowering the legs. And the, you may just be fine here, or you may find your toes reach the mat behind you. 
can bend into the knees if that feels good. This is a real deep distressing kind of not deep not not distressing but a stress relief pose. And for those of you in full plow, just gently come up as you draw the knees to the forehead. For those of you in shoulder stand, you can also do the same, bringing the knees to the forehead. Really breathing into that stretch. And then all together, we're going to bring our hands down to the mat, palms facing down as we use them as brakes to slowly journey the body back down to the ground. And when you arrive here, just hug the knees into the chest and just give yourself a nice rock from side to side again. And then when you're ready, we're going to straighten the legs in front of us. And we haven't done this pose in our practice before, so I'll take you through it really slowly. It's something called a fish pose. So the palms face down towards the earth, and you start to shuffle the hands underneath the glutes. So you're almost laying on top of your hands. And you'll find that your chest will naturally open, and your elbows will kind of tuck underneath your back. And then what you do is you push up onto your forearm as the chest opens and the head comes back and you lean on your crown. You're really opening the throat here. And if you want more, you can lift the crown and the feet. If you've got a bony bum like me, that might be uncomfortable on the hand. Or you can lower the legs and lift the crown. You can play with this pose. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, bring the neck down gently first, followed by the back. And then bring the arms from underneath the glutes as you go into almost a mini Shavasana. Quite a deep bend in the back there. So we're just going to lay here for a couple of breaths before we go into our final movement. You can close down the eyes in your mini shavasana if you wish. And when you're ready, just bring the knees into the chest once more. And just lift the head as you draw it to the knees. You can do a bit of a counter stretch on your back here. And just stay here for two breaths. And then when you're ready, gently lower the neck and just massage the back into the Floor once more, swaying from side to side. And we're going to leave the right knee in the chest here as we extend the left leg out in front of the body. For those of you um, where this is too much of a spinal twist, you can bend both of the knees. So we're going to take the left hand to the right knee, right arm comes out to the side as we twist over to the left side of the body and we gaze over to the right side. Again, you can bend both the knees if that feels better. If the shoulder raises off the floor, that's fine. The intention here is to have a twist in the back. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, roll back as you bring both the knees back into the chest once more. And this time, leaving the left knee in the chest, we straighten out the right leg along the floor, 
Right hand comes over to the left knee, left arm out to the side as you pull the left, left knee over to the right side of the body, following the gaze over to the left. Remember, you can bend both the knees if this is too much. Take a deep inhale and exhale, gently rolling back to the center and bringing both knees into the chest for our final hug of this practice. Massaging the spine once more. And you can start to close down the eyes now if you wish to really slow down into our final pose for relaxation. So letting go of the knees, we bring the soles of the feet down to the mat. Hands come to the thighs as you widen the thighs, the knees sway to the side as you come into your, your laying down butterfly. And you can take the hands away from the body here. You can have the palms facing towards the sky as we prepare to go into our Shavasana. Start to notice any final tensions in the body here. You let go. And you fully surrender into your butterfly pose as we go into our Shavasana. And then when you're ready, there's no rush at all. You can stay here if this is more comfortable. Otherwise, straightening the legs out wide as you come into your full relaxation pose. Feet fully sway out to the side. Just let them go. The ankles relax. Let the hands relax as the fingers naturally bend in. And just let the whole body absorb into the earth beneath you. The muscles in the face relax. The jaw relaxes. Gently parting the lips as the tongue comes away from the roof of the mouth. And I invite you to tune in to those sounds once more. So beginning with the sounds that are closest to you. Is that the sound of your breath? Can you hear your heart beating? Can you notice your heart rate beginning to slow down? Can you hear your breath deep? Then as you sigh. And then start to notice the sounds that are further away from you. And then coming back to the intention of our practice today the intention of opening our throat chakra, where we hold our expression, our sound, our truth, and our authenticity. And I'm just going to read you a short quote from Buddha. Believe nothing. No matter where you read it or who said it, even if I have said it, unless it agrees with your own reason and your own common sense. We believe nothing, 
unless it agrees with your own reason and your own common sense. So this is about believing in your own truth. About speaking your truth. But also being mindful about the words that you speak. So rather than expending our energy on fighting for what we believe to be true, we might instead ask whether the truth that we're fighting for is helpful. Is it helpful? Is it kind? And is it considerate of all? We may walk in another person's shoes and realize that their truth is as real as our own. When we fight, to be right, are we better off? Are we more liberated? Is our life more meaningful? And if it is not, then why not? If yes, then own it. Allow it to do what the truth is always meant to do. Speak your truth. And just continue to breathe in your relaxation here. And when you're ready, Bring some awareness back to the body now. Wiggle fingers and toes. You can take a full body stretch if that feels good. And taking your time, there's no rush whatsoever. Just bending the knees as you hug them into the right side of the body. Using the left hand. You use it as a lever to push yourself up to your seated position. And like I say, there's no rush, just take your time. You can cross the leg, or you can have them in front of you, whatever feels good. And you can have the palms on the knees, or you can have them resting on the leg. Just whatever feels good to you in this moment. I invite everyone to take a really deep inhale here. And then take a deep exhale as you release. Inhale, float the arms all the way up to the sky. Hands meet in prayer. And as you exhale, prayer comes down to heart center as we send our gaze towards our fingertips. I thank you for joining me in this morning's practice. May you take this relaxation through the remainder of your Sunday. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Um, if you wish to just sweep off, that's fine. You don't have to talk to me. Otherwise, I'm going to um, take everyone off mute now.